All right, everyone, welcome back to HDTL. We're continuing on with Mario is Missing. We're on the third floor. And let's see what awaits us. Uh, no idea. Hey, where am I? London. Okay. That was easy. Big Ben. I don't think that's what I have, so... Gotta keep moving. Shakespeare, Edward the Confessor, one-time ruler, ordered the building of Westminster Abbey, Collegiate Church of St. Peter in Westminster, served as a burial place from death in 1066 until 1760, Abbey's been the site of coronations and royal weddings, okay. Edward the Confessor ordered the Abbey be built as his burial place, what does minister mean anyway? Oh, minster. Monastery? Okay, cool. Crown jewels were stolen. William the Conqueror built the Tower of London, protect London from invasion, oversee shipping on the Thames, and scare his subjects. The original tower was built around 1078, covers 18 acres. The tower has been a mint, a fortress, a vault, a terrible jail, and a place of execution. The largest cut diamond in the world, 530 carats. Ordered the building, uh, William the Conqueror. In the tower, you can see the Thames. Alright, so now the last one I need should be over here. Alright, tell me about Big Ben. 
symbol of England located in the Houses of Parliament, Engl England's Capitol Hill, Palace of Westminster, originally the Palace of Edward the Confessor, Clock Tower 320 feet high, Minute Hands alone are 14 feet long, the distinction goes to the Tower's 13-ton bell, which is actually Big Ben. Okay. Big Ben is a bell. Clock Tower is 320 feet high. No idea. Hey, buddy, where am I? Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, we entered Egypt by the southeast border. So, it's either Egypt or Tehran. So, are we in Egypt? Oh, we are in Egypt. Okay, cool. All right, Mosque of Muhammad. Muhammad Ali Mosque was built by a Sultan in 1430. Turkish-style Ottoman Empire, Alabaster Mosque, White Stone, Clock Tower, gift by King Louis the Fifth of France, in return for the Stone Obelisk, the New Consultants lived in the mosque until 1517. What the Egyptians traded for the Clock Tower, Obelisk, what will you find inside the main domed building? Sultan's Crypt. All right, cool. It's the only thing there that made sense. The Sphinx. Man faced lion statues named the Sphinx for the ancient Greeks. Mythical monster like to ask riddles and kill those unfortunate enough not to know the answer. One enormous piece of limestone, 240 feet long, 66 feet high. Ottoman Turks used the cat for target practice. Its nose and King Tut's style beard would not clean off its face. The original name meant Lord. Okay. Why can't I? There we go. 
who gave the Sphinx its name? The, the Greeks. The Sphinx is located in Giza. Right, the Great Pyramid. Ancient Greeks called the Great Pyramid of Giza one of the world's seven great wonders. Pyramids are elaborate tombs. Some mummified remains of pharaohs. Limestone pyramid covers 13 acres of desert, 480 feet high. Every royal pyramid entrance faces north. Again, what you see. Pyramids are built to be tombs. Great pyramid tips the scale at We're blazing through this now. This looks like Japan. It sounds like Japan. Right. This is almost assuredly Tokyo, so... Sumer apron was stolen. Sumer wrestling, both popular art form and sports in the 6th century, originated in Shinto. Strenuous exercise, avoid eating, avid eating and special foods. For serious contenders, men must reach an enormous size, 250 to 375 pounds. One contender to force the other out of the ring or to touch the clay surface with any body part besides the foot. the opponent out of the ring. It's a circle. I still don't really know if it's supposed to the stomp all the Koopas, but I'm just going to do it. It's mildly amusing. Great Buddha of Kamakura. It's not the only Great Buddha in Japan. The only one you can enter by buying a ticket through the door located smack in the middle of his big brass belly. It's 37 feet tall. Daibatsu is best honored by the faithful placing flowers and oranges at his feet. 
He sit in a small wooden house, so he's rendered homeless after a tidal wave. A tsunami washed it away. Lost his house because of the tidal wave. Buddha is 37 feet tall. Sensoji Temple. Asaku District, Tokyo, built in 640 AD. Must first pass under the Gate of Thunder. Hangs a giant red paper lantern sacred to the temple and its worshippers. Built in the shape of a traditional pagoda. Small, smaller red lanterns line the arcades of the walls. Okay. Red lanterns. Sensoji Temple is in the Asaku? District? Yeah. Where am I? Rio de Janeiro. Copacabana Beach. Going to the beach is an art form in Rio. Different sand spots deter us young and old, rich and poor. Well known for surfing, shell collecting, or in this case, people watching. World's most famous beach curves four and, a, four and a half kilometers into Guanabara Bay. Those who know say that on any summer weekend, upwards of 100,000 people. How long is it? Four and a half kilometers. Name of the street that runs along the beach is Av Avenida Guanabara. Damn it! Sugarloaf Mountain. The sands on the left side of Rio's Great Balloon Shaped Bay. Cable cars carry visitors 1,300 meters above Walt City and Guanabara Bay. 
characters get off the lower vista, watch Samba troops perform. Go to side restaurants. We're gonna go all the way to the top. The city spreads out like a carpet of lights. The granite mountain got its name for Portuguese sailors. The sword resembled the cone shaped loaves of sugar. scale the mountain by trolley car uh, Guanabara Bay Christ the Redeemer statue, standing on top of the 2037 foot peak of Corcovado. The statue of Christ the Redeemer holds out his arms as if to embrace the city of Rio de Janeiro. The concrete image of Jesus Christ weighs 700 tons, 1931. The top of the mountain is foggy. Okay. From what material is the Redeemer made? Uh, concrete. What groups donated money to erect the statue? Uh, churches, I would assume. Yeah. One city left. skyline anywhere. Oh, I already know where we are. We are in New York City, baby. Long Island, apparently. Or is that Staten Island? I don't know. Pretty much know about the Statue of Liberty, but let's see. Gift from the French people, yep, I know that. During the American Revolution, built by Frederick Bar Bartholdi. Dedicated on October 28th, 1886. Made from copper, I knew that. The statue weighs 225 tons, 151 feet tall. Her nose along is four, four feet long. The torch is raised above the Hudson River. The left hand holds the Declaration of Independence. the lady holding her hands. A torch and the Declaration of Independence looks a lot like... Uh, ooh, I don't know. I 
It's either Marie Antoinette or Mary Todd Lincoln. I think it's Mary Todd Lincoln. No? Shit. It's probably Marie Antoinette. Fuck me, what am I doing? Nope. Computer. Doesn't say. All right, I, I, it would make sense if it was Marie Antoinette. Treat is. It was embarrassing after saying I knew everything about the Statue of Liberty. Uh, Statue of Liberty honors the um, French American friendship. Or is it masses yearning to breathe free? Damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm from New York and I don't know this. What, the sculptor's mom? That's seriously the, uh, the answer? I'll do better on the other two. Return King Kong. Empire State Building. 1,453 feet tall, 102 stories. Third tallest building in the world. 73 elevators. Take 30 minutes to climb the 1,860 stairs. Espresso elevator carries you to the 80th floor in under a minute. It's 102 stories. It's located in Manhattan. Alright, Rockefeller Center. Rita City Music Hall made world famous by the dance troupe The Rockettes. Started in Missouri in 1925, took their name from the Roxy Theater. Rockettes performed in their high kicks in Radio City since the opening in 1932. Largest and showiest theater in the world, despite the Depression. The theater is a famous Art Deco landmark. Statue of the Overlooks the Skating Rink is Prometheus. Rockville Center Street closes one day a year because... Painting rink is closed? No. The street will remain private property? Ah. Alright, a 
Let's fight the Scoop Kid. So is that it? Or is this like Bowser's Lair now? Oh, no, we're just saving Mario. Oh, oh, here comes Bowser. Nope. gonna fire Bowser. That Bowser looks so weird. Bye, weird-ass looking Bowser. He's dead now. Yeah, yeah, he's straight up dead. <laughs> Alright, well, that's it. We've beaten Mario is Missing. It's an educational game, so it's, you know, it is what it is. This is another game down. So if you guys like what you're seeing, like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, and we will have another new game in the next episode. Man, what a weird time when, like, Mario games were being developed by just, like, non-Nintendo Studios, man. So I didn't mention it before, but in case you didn't know, like, the most infamous example of, like, this licensing deal was the, um... Philips. That made the Philips CDI, that shitty system. They licensed out The Legend of Zelda, and they made three Zelda games, which are considered to be three of the worst video games of all time. Like, if you want to watch playthrough of those, I mean, the Game Grumps played all three of them. And they beat two of them, but Zelda's Adventure, which is absolutely atrocious, they couldn't get through. And the end. Alright, everybody. Take it easy.